International. Part D. Sound and Light Signals. Rule 34. Maneuvering and Warning Signals. When vessels are inside of one another, a power-driven vessel underway, when maneuvering as authorized or required by these rules, shall indicate that maneuver by the following signals on her whistle. One short blast to mean, I am altering my course to starboard. Two short blasts to mean, I am altering my course to port. Three short blasts to mean, I am operating a stern propulsion. The one short or two short whistle blast under the international rules are signals of actions relative to the side the vessel will be turning to. No acknowledgement is needed from the other vessel. Also, operating a stern propulsion is a signal of action and requires no agreement signal from the other vessel. Any vessel may supplement the whistle signals prescribed in paragraph A of this rule by light signals, repeated as appropriate, while the maneuver is being carried out. Supplementing maneuvering signal with light is optional. These light signals shall have the following significance. One flash to mean, I am altering my course to starboard. Two flashes to mean, I am altering my course to port. Three flashes to mean, I am operating a stern propulsion. The duration of each flash shall be about one second. The interval between flashes shall be about one second. And the interval between successive signals shall be not less than 10 seconds. The light used for this signal shall, if fitted, be an all-round white light, visible at a minimum range of 5 miles, and shall comply with the provisions of Annex 1 to these regulations. When in sight of one another in a narrow channel or fairway, a vessel intending to overtake another shall, in compliance with Rule 9E1, indicate her intention by the following signals on her whistle. Two prolonged blasts, followed by one short blast, to mean, I intend to overtake you on your starboard side. Two prolonged blasts, followed by two short blasts. <laughs> to mean, I intend to overtake you on your port side. The vessel about to be overtaken when acting in accordance with Rule 9E1 shall indicate her agreement by the following signal on her whistle. One prolonged, one short, one prolonged, and one short blast. in that order. In the case of overtaking another vessel in a narrow channel or fairway, under the international rules, passing signals are signals of intend relative to the side of the other vessel. The overtaking vessel intends to pass the other vessel on. The other vessel also has to signal her agreement before the intended maneuver can begin. The agreement signal is Morse code Charlie, which means yes or affirmative, according to the International Code of Signals. To summarize, international rules, maneuvering, one or two short whistle blasts. I am altering course to starboard or port. No agreement required from the other vessel. Both international and inland rules, operating a stern propulsion signal is a signal of action. Again, requires no agreement from the other vessel. International rules, overtaking in narrowed channel or fairway, two prolonged followed by one short or two prolonged Two short whistle blast. I intend to overtake you on your starboard or port side. The other vessel has to sound the one prolonged, one short, one prolonged, and one short blast to acknowledge agreement before the maneuver can be carried out.
When vessels inside of one another are approaching each other and from any cause either vessel fails to understand the intentions or actions of the other, or is in doubt whether sufficient action is being taken by the other to avoid collision, the vessel in doubt shall immediately indicate such doubt by giving at least five short and rapid blasts on the whistle. Such signal may be supplemented by a light signal of at least five short and rapid flashes. A vessel nearing a bend or an area of a channel or fairway where other vessels may be obscured by an intervening obstruction shall sound one prolonged blast. Such signal shall be answered with a prolonged blast by any approaching vessel that may be within hearing around the bend or behind the intervening obstruction. If whistles are fitted on a vessel at a distance apart of more than 100 meters, one whistle only shall be used for giving maneuvering and warning signals. Due to the relatively slow speed of sound in air, a sound from two whistles more than 100 meters apart could produce an echo and sound like two separate signals.